Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kato. I'm Pen, and I will be your host on this adventure. So, oh hey, it's people. Let's talk to them. <clears throat> hey kid, you're back. Is Shannon with you? Of course she isn't, dear. You know the tradition. Oh, yes, of course. Well, please give her a huge blare hug if you see her. We miss her dearly. Have you traveled back here for the fishing festival? It only happens a few times a month. And uh, we have a competition there. I'm happy to loan you a rod and a barber in case of mood strikes. I feel like that is a thing that I'm going to have to f do now. All right. Hello. Thank you again for accompanying Shannon. It was so kind of you. I hope she's doing well and feels our love for her even from afar. We think about her all the time. Did you girls sail the whole archipelago? She's a born adventurer. I knew she'd take it to it once she got a taste. She just has to get out of her comfort zone. So where am I going? Or maybe, maybe up here to the other people, right? Up, up, up. Hello? There's two houses up here. Ah, uh, the sand piper won't stay still. I just want to show him this cool stick. What the fuck? You want to whack with a stick? That's what I mean. Ahoy! Uh, little one, I hope your travels have treated you well. Yet again, your timing is fortunate for our fishing festivals upon us. Uh, I call it a festival, but don't tell my wife. Ugh. Anyway, the festival will be held nearby at the Big Fish Lock. We have a fishing competition and outsiders are always welcome. Uh, they won't let me enter since I'm a fisherman by trade. But that means I get to be the host. What an honor. Okay. Hi, sweetie. It's nice to see you again. I was just wondering if we would have any visitors competing this month. Uh, my little lady here is growing up so quickly. I'm sure she'll be singing fish with her father before I know it. Okay, so that, that didn't help me. Is it going to be the people by the ocean that know something? Hmm. Have we met before? You look very familiar. You remind me of a mermaid I saw recently. Except it had a sailboat for a tail and two heads. Very strange. Hmm. Oh, hello again. I trust your travels have been fruitful. Have you encountered our dear son, perchance? Uh, I suppose chances were slim. Besides, the last we heard from him, he was headed to the end of the world. But that was many years ago. I hope he brought something warm to wear. Oh, do you like cold weather? I'm told it builds character. I think she'd like to visit their love. I recognize the twinkle in her eye. Our son had it too. The look of an adventurer. <laughs> well, a good map of the ocean might lead you there. And it so happens... I donated one as a prize to the fishing festival. You just have to find all of the lost fish and lead them home to your net. I feel like you'll be good at that for some reason. Best of luck at the festival. I'm rooting for you to win. Okay. So, fishing festival. Oh, they're back down here. Okay, theory. Oh, uh, was it from my dad? <laughs> I really miss everyone, but I'm glad I got to see them from afar at least. Okay, so to find your granny, we need to get to the iceberg. To find the iceberg, we need the ocean map. And to get the ocean map, we need to win the competition at the fishing festival. Right? Great. Well, I know the plan. Let's go fishing. The festival takes place in the big fish lock nearby. It's our biggest lock, uh, lake. Uh, you can probably guess what sh it's shaped like. Hmm. I still don't want anyone to recognize me, though. Oh, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Okay. Like, oh. Hey. Hi, Kato. I'm Rhiannon. <laughs> uh, there's no way they'll recognize me now. I'm ready to go. I don't think that's true. So... This. So take this. 
it like this. Oh, how is that a fish? That doesn't look like a fish to me. It looks like a fishing rod. Is everyone in position? I've focused around for ages for that. Okay. We have two outsiders in the competition. Uh, this time, very exciting. Best of luck to you, Rhiannon and friend. Uh, once you experience your first competition, you may be hooked. No worry, our prizes are safely locked away. Ha. Oh, rules are the same as always. First one to collect every type of fish wins. Let's begin. My dad gave us a couple of fishing rods to use. This one is for you. He didn't even notice it was me when he handed them over. <laughs> okay. Um, no fish biting right now. Okay. Oh, you need me to make it like that. Okay. Go this way. this the heat drew? Let's see. No fish. What? Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, fishy, fishy. Okay, tell me. Uh, there are four types of fish in the lake. I drew them for you. Oh, okay. Huh. Weird. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with the top one. Okay. I think that's that's it. The waters are stirring. Okay, let's get fish. Caught a green glover. Okay, next one. Okay, straight little fin, curvy tail. Okay, extra long head. It looks like a prawn. Is that it? What is the staring? Uh, Milko's gobby. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting fish. Ah. Uh, think it's that. What is a stirring? Come on. Thank you. Carpe diem. You're, carpe diem? Really? Really? That's what you're going to go with? Oh my god, that's a weirdly shaped fish. And this one is a right angle with a little fin near its head. Like this? What is the story? And we're done. This is so easy. <laughs> A blue bandit. I did it. It seems someone may have caught all of the fish types. Come turn in your catch. Let me check. Okay. Gonna run all the way over there. Very sneaky. <laughs> Hello. I have it. Let me take a look at these fish. They are indeed from the, this lock. One, one of each type. The winner of the competition is Rhiannon. And her friend. The prize is yours. Yay, I won, I won, I won. <laughs> now what? It's been great seeing you again, kid. I imagine you have other islands to visit, especially with that fancy new ocean map you won. I have so much I want to ask you about Shannon, but her life is her own now. Tell me though, is she well? Is she happy? 
Ah, that puts my mind at ease. Thanks for being such a good friend to her. You're welcome back anytime. And you too, Rhiannon. Quite some fishing skills you've displayed as well. You must have grown up on an island. Might I ask which one? Oh, it looks like you guys are eager to find your next port of call. I don't blame you. It's a big ocean out there. And the sea will bring us together again if it wills it. Farewell. How did they not know that Rhiannon and Shannon were the same person? Hey, Kato. Thanks for doing that with me. I was really happy to see that my parents and everyone else were doing well. Even if my dad still can't catch a fish to save his life. Uh, you helped me get home and reunite with my people. And now it's time for me to help you do the same. We're going to find your granny. I just know it. To the edge of the world. Iceberg ahoy. Ooh. We made it. Wow, it's so beautiful here. I've never seen snow like this before. It's so peaceful and cold. How are your toes okay? Aren't you barefoot? Better keep the boat moving before it freezes in the ice. If you want to start looking for your granny, I'll come find you once I've found a safe place to dock. Okay. Let's see, where are we at? Ooh. Oh. I can't separate them because of snow and ice or whatever. Hello. I have a map piece. Hum de dum. Came here to gather food but didn't expect to gather a new friend too. Uh, you don't look nearly warm enough, little snowflake. Please take my scarf. It should keep you toasty. I'm glad you like it. I have plenty more where that came from. We all need to support each other to live in a harsh place like this. You look like you traveled a long way to get here. I hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Oh. Wait. A decaying wooden bridge. It doesn't look safe to cross. Okay. So I'm assuming I need to use this new map piece to get over here. Oh, it's like Tetrisy. Oh, can I get in there? No, I cannot. I love that every new region has had like different unique ways of, of dealing with things. This is really cool. Okay, let's try me being on this piece. Is there a way to access this man? Yes, there it is. Okay, so then... I'm dumb. Right here. Okay. Good tidings. It's nice to see a new face. Though I'm afraid you've caught me in a bit of a pickle. Seem to have left my backpack behind when I was eating lunch. Pickles and all. I was on the other side of the mountain, across the bridge. But now I need the tools in my backpack to fix the bridge, and where you can see the pickle. Okay, I'm assuming this is your house over here. No storage shack sealed up soundly. Okay. That's it? That's all you needed? Here you go. You did it, you clever... I, I, Cornishian? I don't know what that means. Now, let me just grab my tools and... Hammer. Let's fix it. I'm sure that that's all you need to fix it. Nice. Look how skilled you are. Totally fixed. Good as new. At least not so old. Ever since the goats migrated to warmer pastures, we've had a, a deal of a time getting over the mountains. So there's, these bridges have become our lifelines. Uh, I need to tend to other bridges, but I owe you a gherkin. Oh. I hate gherkins, but... That, that's lovely of you to say. So, bridge there. So I should be able to just, like, zip around, right? I get on this piece. Uh, 
put me here shift across put this back and go down and I'll get that new map piece as well right because he's fixing all of the bridges yes a new map piece whoa okay so I need to like stuff that one in there like that Oh, look, another map piece. Hello there. You must be the newcomer. Word travels fast around here. Unlike our iceberg, icebergs, he has a dead fish on his head. You see, our icebergs actually move pretty slowly. They separate and drift around, sometimes a few hours, other times days. And they always drift back together in different shapes. Uh, Luck says there are seven icebergs, but we've only kind of six. But there are great... But he's a great archaeologist and keen survivalist, so I believe him. We all chip in around here. Teka protects us from the ice beasts. Uh, Lucy makes the jaunty shirt, a jaunt, made me this jaunty shirt out of pine needles and fur. And I've sailed the entire ocean to help keep track of movement of the icebergs. I'm sure you'll figure out your role if you decide to stick around. Okay. So you gotta figure out how to get there. Um. I feel like if I do that, right? Okay. So how do I get across? this doing advanced math puzzles in my head <laughs> up here oh okay so where does this next one take me Interesting. Okay. This literally doesn't get me anywhere I need to go on this map. Okay. I'm assuming this is where I'm going wrong, right? Okay, so that is how I get there, but how do I get from there to here? Can I do this? Where does this take me? Oh, I did it, thank god. Ouch. Oh, you're gonna threaten me? Dude, what the fuck? Ah, huh? You're not an ice beast. You're not a beast at all. Who? I almost sold my furs. Um, you look like you've been uh, jostled about by a beast, though. I'll hold still for a moment. Let me bandage you. Uh, have you heard Luke's legend yet? Luck, whatever his name is. He's our leader and a renowned adventurer. He says uh, that one day we'll find a precious treasure on the fabled seventh iceberg. Treasure hunters travel great distances when they hear our legend, but mostly lose hope after a time and leave the iceberg. I suppose those of us left still hold on to some hope in our hearts. It's a legend. It's the legend what brought you here, young traveler. No. I see. Treasure means something different to us all. I'm sure you'll find yours. Me? I'm hoping for some help with my hunting. My spear is getting blunt from the ice beasts I'm battling. 
or doodling in the ice while watching for them. Well, you're all bandaged up. Stay cozy out there. Oh, is this town? Well, I guess this is a good time to end it then. And we can talk to the people here and, and figure out what's going on in the next video. So for now, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and join the embarrassments, which is what I call my community. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at in your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.